how to add headers, page titles, uh, meta descriptions, and so much more with Shopify. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this tutorial, we are just going to walk you through the basics of Shopify and how to use headers uh, and how that like things that actually you should start implementing with your Shopify stores, especially when you're creating, for example, uh, pages or blog posts and so much more stuff that we actually need to pay attention pay attention to. So if you're more experienced with Shopify, you may know all of this. But, you know, if you're just a beginner, you should keep a lookout for these things. Starting with um, products. So let's just go ahead and open up a product. Uh, and actually add a product, I should say. Uh, and I'm just going to name it red because I have an image of the color red. So as the title is, it's just going to be normal text. You can't really make it a header uh, with you know normal Shopify um, adjustments. You may use some code or an application to make it look like um, you know bigger or smaller with the customization. But here you can just go ahead and make it a normal text. Now the formatting stuff is actually going to be from the description itself here. So if we just go ahead and open up the description box and start. Um, typing here we can actually format it to make it a little bit better so here you can actually go in and see we can make it bold italics or underline uh, and we can also change the color of it now how do we actually make this a header so how do we start with a header and then we can just go ahead and add more paragra paragraphs to it so just go ahead and type in whatever you want and then you can just go ahead and highlight it and you can actually see the formatting here by default is paragraph. If you click on that, you can actually see you have heading one, heading two, heading three, and you can just go ahead and start with header one. And then you can just go ahead and hit enter so you can scroll down. It's going to automatically turn back to paragraph where you can just go ahead and type in whatever um, description you want. And then you can just go ahead and hit enter once more and turn back to heading number two, which is going to be a little smaller than heading number one and so on. This is pretty much how it works. Now, here's another thing that is very important and you need to keep in mind, uh, which is not the description, the normal one, but rather the meta description. To find this one and actually edit it, you will need to basically scroll down to the bottom here. Or you can just go ahead and click on edit or the pencil icon on the top right of this box, which is search engine listing. Now, this is very important because meta description is actually going to be the thing that shows up in the Google result results, basically. So we actually can go ahead and delete this entire thing and just add a uh, proper description that actually fits the meta uh, description. So we just make it a little something... Uh, you know, not too detailed within the meta description, uh, not like the description, the normal one, obviously, where you will need to add as many details as possible. But here you will need to make it as minimal as possible, yet uh, very uh, intriguing and basically powerful. So you can have people clicking on it and we can just go ahead and click on save here. Now, same goes, for example, if you want to add a uh, we can actually just go ahead and leave this. If we just go to, for example, blog post or adding a new page, same thing goes here. You can just go ahead and um, create a blog post. Title is going to be the same, so normal text. And then the content is also going to include the same thing that we just talked about. So we can actually just go ahead and add some text. And we can actually see all the formatting options. Uh, that we want here. So we can actually go ahead and set it up to be a heading one, bold, italics, uh, underline, and so much more. And again, if we just want to scroll down, edit website C, uh, SEO, uh, and we can actually add the meta description. And you can just go ahead and click on save. And this is pretty much how it works. You will need to make sure you add as many of those as possible because it's just, because it's just going to help uh, you be found a lot easier because of SEO, things like that. So hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.